Yes, Oscar season is now upon us. Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie Lady Bird. Yes, yes, Lady Bird stars Saoirse Ronan, Laurie Metcalf, and Lucas Hedges. And this movie is written and directed by Greta Gerwig. Yes, a great actress, but also a great filmmaker. And this is the new A24 film. There's been a bunch of this year. A few bad ones, but mostly great ones. And Lady Bird adds to the great A24 films. Yes, this movie, the story of this movie takes place in the year 2002, I think. And it's about this girl. Her name's Christine, but everyone calls her Lady Bird. And basically, she doesn't want to, but she is exactly like her opinionated mother, who is this nurse who basically takes care of the whole family and stuff because uh, the father lost their, his job and stuff. And basically, the mother, uh, Lady Bird's mother, basically takes care of everyone, played by Lori Metcalf and stuff. And the character Christine, aka Lady Bird, doesn't want to be anything like her mother. She wants to fight against herself not to be like her mother, but she's in every way like her mother. And this is a very interesting story about a mother-daughter relationship. And also about the American economy during this time period and stuff. And also, it's also about, like, you know, people in school and people in our society and how people treat people and everything. And this is just a fascinating uh, character study and a fascinating comedic film. And it's directed by Greta Gerwig. That is the main reason why I wanted to see this film. And I never saw a trailer for um, this movie, Lady Bird. I heard it did amazing in Toronto Film Festival and stuff. And I went to a bunch of film festivals. And everyone said it was fantastic. And yeah, I was looking forward to it. And I knew it would be some... I knew it would probably be like an Oscar contender. But I didn't know what kind of Oscar contender we what. I didn't know what kind of Oscar contender this movie would be. Would it be like one of those really great ones, like uh, like The Artist or Hugo or something? Or would it be like an Oscar baby film, like The Danish Girl and The Theory of Everything? As it turns out, this is this is a brilliant film. Lady Bird is fantastic. It will get Oscar nominations most definitely this Oscar season. And I don't think a lot of people will see this movie because I don't think it went to a lot of theaters, but... People should see it. If you have to travel outside of your city or your town, go see Lady Bird. This movie is absolutely phenomenal. This is fantastic. This proves that Greta Gerwig is going to be a great filmmaker in her future because she did an amazing job with this film. This movie is so smart, so clever, so profound, so intellectual, so deep, so meaningful, so heartwarming, and actually really funny. This is a genuinely funny film. It is a very snappy film, it is a very witty film, and it is such a well-written film. The screenplay for this film is amazing, I'll definitely get a nomination for screenplay. The direction was also really well done, there was no clunkiness or bad structure. It was a very well-structuralized plot with a great three-act structure and a very well-executed story. The story was interesting, the characters were interesting, they were fascinating, they were real, they were fleshed out, and it was just an all-around, well-told story with a very interesting plot. And I absolutely love this film. This Lady Bird is a, fan, is a fantastic film. I love it. Saoirse Ronan, I always knew she was a great actress. She played some movies that I was not always a big fan of, but I loved her in, like, Brooklyn and uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. I thought she was so great in those films. She's amazing in this film as the character Lady Bird. I will definitely, she'll get nominated. She is excellent in this film. Also, Lori Macaf, who also might get a nomination. She was fantastic in the mother-daughter relationship. Worked so freaking well, and they had amazing chemistry, and they worked amazingly off each other. Lucas Hedges from Manchester by the Seas in this film, and he was also really solid in this flick, and I loved this movie. I loved how smart this film was, and I love that it tells a story about a mother-daughter relationship, but also tells a story about the economy and stuff, and about what people were going through during this time period, and it's a fascinating story about uh, family dynamics and stuff, and even just people in school and how people treat each other. There's a lot of important issues this movie talks about, and they're really well done. It's not convoluted. It's not jumbled. This movie just doesn't randomly go off topic. They all mean something, and they all work, and they all work together within the plot, and it's so well done. This is a very well-executed story, and it's such a well-made film. Greta Gerwig is an amazing filmmaker. She'll get nominated also for Best Director and stuff. This movie will get a ton of nominations, and rightfully so, because this is a really well-made movie, and it is a very funny film. It's a very deep and very dramatic film, but it is also really funny. I was actually laughing my ass up in some scenes. Like, for a movie like this, ah, 
I didn't know it would go in certain directions in certain ways, but this movie, this movie has some funny stuff. There's even, like, a slapstick moment, and it was pretty good. Like, I gave this movie kudos for that. Like, I, this movie's not just trying to go straight artsy and stuff. It's not trying to be a pretentious film. It is actually trying to... Greg Gerwig was literally trying to make a genuinely great film, and she's trying to say something with this film, and she succeeded. My only, like, minor gripes with the film is, um, there's some scenes that the comedy doesn't work. There's, like, a scene that happens in this movie, and I'm like, is this funny, or is this dramatic? Is this brilliant, or is this stupid? It's just, it, I don't know, it just, it didn't fit well with the tone, it, just, it was just a random scene, just not, not a big problem, but just, I don't know if they really worked for the story. There was also, also, I would have actually preferred if this movie was a bit longer. There's a few things, uh, this movie is, again, it talks a lot about these characters in the story, but I felt like this movie could have fleshed a few things out, and I felt like I needed a little bit more information about certain people in this film. So I actually do wish this movie was about 10 minutes longer. I know a lot of people nowadays have been complaining about movies being 10 minutes too long, but I actually wanted this movie to be a little longer. I thought this was 10 minutes too short. So yeah, those are my only minor issues with Lady Bird. If this movie is playing in a theater near you, please go check it out. It is a fantastic film, and it's 100% an Oscar contender this Oscar season. So yeah, check it out. Lady Bird is a fantastic film, and on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the movie Lady Bird a 9.4 out of 10. So yeah, check this one out. This is a fantastic film. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Lady Bird. So in the comment section below, please tell me, have you seen this movie and are you interested in seeing this film? Please, if you've never heard of this movie, go check it out. And if you have checked it out, what are your thoughts and opinions? Do you like this movie or do you think this movie's awful? Do you think it's pretentious? Give me your thoughts and opinions. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.